Right, so we're going to perform a test now with the 100 amp hour lithium ion battery from Super B. Uh, the calculated capacity of this battery at nominal voltage is 1.3 kilowatt hours, and we're starting the test with our energy monitor recording 199.23 kilowatt hours. So I'm going to put the, uh, <coughs> the electric fan heater on now, and um, we're going to apply pretty significant load to the, uh, to the battery and monitor how long the, uh, the battery lasts and the amount of energy that it's actually releasing to the, uh, to the load. Obviously we're going to have some inefficiencies within the inverted charger which we'll need to uh, add into our calculations afterwards. So here goes. So out of shot at the moment, uh, I can uh, uh, let you know that the overload light on the 3 kilowatt multi plus is blinking, saying that we're actually now running at above the continuous output capability of the, uh, of the multi plus. But that's the only warning light that's currently present. The low battery and the temperature lights are, uh, are off, so, uh, and the unit will operate at above its continuous rating quite some period. Let's have a quick look at what the uh, at what <coughs> we're seeing in terms of information coming from the from the Victron unit. We've got a laptop connected with VE configure running and it's giving us some live data from the Victron unit. You can see here a table on the left hand side of values. Uh, so it's telling us at the moment that we've got uh, an output of 230 volts. We're delivering 11.5 amps to the fan heater. And that equates to 286 amps of discharge from the, from the battery. And the battery is holding its voltage at 11.7 volts. And I think you should be able to see that that's a pretty stable volt voltage. It's not really declining uh, very quickly at all at this point. Okay, so we've resumed uh, filming. We're approaching 20 minutes of, of running the load at this particular point, and the battery voltage is sitting at uh, 10.5 volts, just dropped to 10.4. So we're starting to see a degradation of the, of the DC voltage, and uh, so we're approaching what we're going to get out of the battery on this particular discharge. So we'll just wait and see we, uh, until we get down to the 10 volts and the invertible cutoff, and then we'll be able to establish exactly how much energy we've, uh, we've been able to deliver to the, uh, to the load. And here we are. Right, we're going to do a repeat test uh, using the same load, which is a, um, a nominal 3 kilowatt fan heater, probably about 2.6 kilowatts. But this time we're going to run it on a, uh, on a conventional lead acid battery, uh, a gel type battery, sealed valve regulated lead acid battery. Um, so it's got the same nominal capacity of 100 amp hours, but obviously uh, lead acid batteries are the capacity of lead acid batteries is, is affected by the discharge rate. So we're going to uh, we're going to just uh, see exactly how much energy we can take out of that battery when we discharge it very quickly. Right. So uh, I'm just going to turn the heater on, start the timer, and we'll see uh, exactly how we get on. I'm going to uh, turn on the load now, start the stopwatch, and I'll keep. Uh, Keep you informed as to uh, what's happening with the inverter and, uh, and and how that's performing. So here goes. <coughs> right. So we've immediately got both the overload light and the low battery light uh, uh, flashing on the inverter. The uh, the DC voltage 
has already dropped to 10.2 volts and this, this battery was uh, fully charged prior to the test. Uh, so, um, and we're now drawing 325 amps from the, from the battery. We're obviously drawing more ampage because the voltage is lower. So to get the same amount of power we need to draw more current. DC voltage now dropped to 9.7 volts and we're starting to see a degradation in terms of the AC output voltage from the Victron unit. It started off at 230 volts, it's now sitting at 218 volts and that's just down to the fact that it's got such a low input voltage it's struggling to maintain its nominal output AC voltage so that's decaying now in line with the in line with the, uh, <coughs> the DC voltage, which in turn means that the fan heater is, um, is absorbing less power. The voltage has gone down, the resistance of the elements has stayed the same, uh, so it's, uh, it, it, we're now delivering less power to the, uh, to the fan heater. Okay, we're down at 9.4 volts now on the battery, so uh, we're rapidly approaching the point at which the unit is going to uh, turn itself off to protect the battery. It's now showing 9.3 volts on the display and we're off. So, just over six minutes. Okay, so we're now going to perform the final test, which is uh, applying the same load of 2.6 kilowatts onto a 220 amp hour gel battery, uh, lead acid technology and just comparing this also against the performance of the uh, 100 amp hour lithium ion. So I'm going to apply the load now and start the timer. See the load's gone on, 2.624 kilowatts. Voltage is uh, <coughs> standing at around about 11 points, uh, sorry, 10.8 volts. So we've got a 307 amp discharge out of the battery. Right, we're caught napping there. Um, the unit has just disconnected on low battery at uh, 13 and a half minutes. So uh, with a with a uh, final kilowatt hour reading of. 201.05 so we'll just work out uh, how much energy we've got out of the battery with those values.